Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Says the Vet. I am Dr. Says. This episode is answering what is unfortunately a really common question that I get all the time in practice as well as on the YouTube channel. Why can't I clear my sheep's pneumonia? It seems to be getting better on antibiotics, then comes back again when I stop. Before I jump into this answer, please don't forget to subscribe by hitting the emblem below to catch more interesting episodes. Thumbs up to let me know you're there and appreciating them. Right, so this episode will probably be the bearer of bad news for you, I'm afraid. Pneumonia is seen in sheep very commonly in New Zealand over summer. The heat and stress of mustering causes open mouth breathing, dust is flying around, and this allows bacteria that probably usually live there anyway, happily, but kept at bay, well these bacteria are now allowed to get into the lungs and cause damage because of this added stress. Once the bacteria start causing damage, then there are mycoplasma and viruses that jump on the bandwagon to make things worse. So when we see pneumonia, it does end up being a complex, it ends up being multiple things in there causing the damage. So we see two forms. One is a quick acting pneumonia called acute pneumonia, and you can have up to sort of 10% of the group die at once over a very short, seemingly sudden period of time. But we also see a chronic form, chronic meaning long term, when the combination of these harmful bugs cause abscesses. Once you've got abscesses in the lungs, you cannot penetrate those abscesses with antibiotics. Honestly, they would need to be surgically removed to get rid of them. So antibiotics are not the be all and end all. They may suppress any further development of the infection and, and at least give what seems like a partial recovery for some time because it will be clearing up any residual infection around the abscesses, but those abscesses themselves will remain, meaning they've got less functional lungs, less lung area, and the rest of the lung will be compensating for that, okay, and under more stress. So higher risk of going down with respiratory disease in the future again. But yes, I mean, they're usually picking it up as lambs. So the take home message is to get onto pneumonia fast in your young ones for the best chance of stopping it developing into those abscesses. But otherwise, if the history fits, then you may well be looking at, at a chronic pneumonia there that you're not going to be able to clear. Another couple of notes though, make sure you have treated for lung worms as well. It may be that you're treating pneumonia, but the underlying issue is actually some parasitic worms in the lungs. And we do also get other respiratory issues like allergic sinusitis, essentially like a hay fever, and nasal bots as well. So make sure that you've got a proper diagnosis before condemning them for life. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful, if not what you wanted to hear. Please do subscribe, comment away, ask your questions, and I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.